Hi guys, good morning. So till now we have created all the seven parts of a screwjack. Now let us move on to the next that is assembling all those seven parts which we have created. So before proceeding we need to locate where exactly our uh, model parts are. So you go to the show data panel and here we have created a project. In that project I have all the seven parts uh, which I have created starts with body, nut, screw spindle, cup, washer, screw and a tommy bar. Right? And uh, now we need to go to the design and we have already created a new right let me go and save this right once i saved the assembly right uh, i saved it to be a screw jack assembly and now the first uh, always the starts with the body right so i will drag and drop the body into our environment Right. So now actually display settings, visual style. Let's uh, go with visual settings. Okay. With these manipulation tools, you can move, copy, rotate, and you can play around, and you can orient it how exactly you require, how exactly you require. And this is our position is uh, fine for me. So let me go and select OK. So now. First, I have inserted the first part into our environment and this being the base part, let me ground this. So you right click on this body and you can click on ground. Right? So once the body is located, now let the second part is my nut. You drag and drop the nut into your environment. Right? Now that the uh, more copy windows uh, dialog box has been popped up and you can i can pull it up right i can pull it up a bit and i can rotate and see right yeah click on ok once you click on ok right now i need to assemble this so i will go to the assembly i have an option uh, called as a joint select that Right. What I am doing is I, will, I am fitting this with respect to this. Right. Yeah. Perfectly it has fit. So you go to the motion. Right. The link between the nut and the body is a rigid. So I am making it to be a rigid and click on OK. Now the, I have assembled the nut. Let me drag and drop the screw spindle yeah right just located now using the default uh, more copy commands so let me move it a bit right so click on ok now I will go to the join Sorry, I will go to the assemble and joint. I am taking this is the first point. Yeah, I have located that. And here, the main important thing what we need to do is we need to set up a motion for that because if you rotate the screw spindle right the whole assembly will move and the whole part that is screw spindle cup will move up and down right so what i am doing is i will go to the motion and this is not a rigid motion i am making it to be a cylindrical right i am making it to be cylindrical here in cylindrical we have two types of uh, motion we can give one is rotational motion and second one is a linear that is a sliding motion and rotation i am fixing it to be a minimum zero degrees and 
maximum i am setting it because it should completely rotate so let me move on to, let me give the angle will be 360 degrees right in the same way if required you can preview it you can see that it is rotating it is rotating in the same way let me give the sliding also right starts with the minimum zero and uh, the maximum value which I can give it out is the total height of the uh, screw spindle minus 83 something, right? So let me give 100 to 120 mm is the maximum distance through which it can slide up. So give it to be 120, right? You can see that if required, you can see that position. Yeah, from 0 to 120. I feel it's good. Right? Click on. Okay. Click on. Okay, now I have created, I have assembled. The next part of that is my cup. Drag and drop the cup. Yeah, using the move or copy commands, you take it in position. Click on OK and go to the assemble joint. Right, I am taking this point to be fitted exactly here. Right? Why it is moving like this is, in the recent one, that is in the screw spindle, you have changed the motion type. Earlier it was rigid and here you have changed it to be a cylindrical. So by default it is taking the recent one. So if you go to the motion, you can see that it is showing it to be a cylindrical and change it to rigid. Click on OK. So now the cup is positioned. The next part is my washer. So let me bring my washer back. Right, using the default move copy commands, you can move the washer up and then you can hide the cup. Right. Right, I'll go to joint. I am positioning this space. Click on OK. Right. My next part is my screw. So let me bring back my screw. Right. Using the move command, you can move up a bit and then click on OK. Right. And then go to the joint. Click on OK. Right. That's perfectly fit. Now enable the cup. I need to take up a position for Tommy bar. It doesn't drop the Tommy bar. Move up. Right. I need to rotate it. So you can rotate this. Sorry. Click on OK. Now go to the joint. Give this same position to be seated to this. Right. So everything finds cool. So click on. This is, let me save this. Right. So this is the complete assembly of a screw jack. If you want to see how exactly that uh, 
simulation does right so let me go the i need to bridge a motion with right so joints i need to choose it to be a cylindrical right line i will choose it to be a cylindrical joint right you can see that where exactly it is click on okay so now, now we have created a motion plane and now let's see whether that uh, so the smoother will work or not as per the configuration or the motion we shall have okay so let me go to the motion study right i have to need to choose the corresponding joints and let me give some angle right so which is that to me so now let me do pin it and do pin it and i am releasing the speed and i am playing right so now we can see that roof pendle is moving up and down Pause it. Right. Click on OK. Right. So now my assembling part is complete. Let me go to the drafting part. Right. Because the final output which we need to give a printout, right, is a draft document. Right. So now from this design module, let me move on to the drawing module. Right. A drawing module. Go to the design and select the drawing module. And from the design, right, a create drawing dialog box will be popped up, and the content should be full assembly. Full assembly. Then go to the ISO, and I am setting the standard units and. Uh, Sheet size and setting it to be A3. Click on OK. Right now you are into a drafting environment. Right here we you need to choose the default position. Here you can see that the orientation is showing it to be a front view, but what I am doing is I am taking the right view. Right so that I can see my Tommy bar clearly. I can see my Tommy was clearly, and if required, you can reduce the scale or you can increase the scale. So let me increase the scale a bit, right? And then here, style visible edges are going with visible and hidden edges, right? Let me position it. right so once it is done so here i have a drawing this is the base view projected view auxiliary view right sectional view right let me go with the project view and select this you can come down you will going to get that top view as i we will get that side view right i saw Right. I don't position the isometric as of now. Right. So now our main important thing is we need to create a section view. Right. What I'll do is I will going to create the section. So let me create a section. I will create the section for this. So let me create a section plane. Accept this. Right. 
right here you can see is that whether which type of things uh, that's from the parents right section name which is to be there click on ok so here you can reposition it a bit more this is a section EAA then this is a side view right if you require ISO what you can do it is you can go to this view right which position you need you can select that yes CM no. let's go with this right and this positioning I don't need this visible edges I need shaded, shaded one right scaling I reduce it to 1 is to 4 Okay. Right. And then if you require a part list, you can go with that. Mm. Right. Right. If required, you can give the write up the text right you can insert the text here So, you can save this. So, once the drafting is complete, so we need to take a printout of this. Right? Now, what we can do is uh, we can export it as a PDF. Right? Uh, go to the export. Here we have an option called as export PDF. Right? All sheets. And let me open that. Click on OK. Right, it is asking me that uh, it is saving with the file names Puja Assembly Drawing Version 1 PDF file and uh, I am saving it in the cloud as well as I am saving it to my folder. Click on save. It will be exported and then it will be opened. Right. This we can take a printout of. So this completes the assembly and conversion of 3D to 2D of a screw jack. Thank you.